Welcome back to a new episode here in Swathi. In today's video, we're gonna talk a little bit about exporting for Instagram. So I was working on the trailer stuff for the DaVinci Resolve bundle and I thought, well, I probably should post this on Instagram too, right? So anyways, um, what you wanna do is you can do 10 the same format, but that way it's, if you just exported the same format that you have already, which is 1920 by 1080, I guess. So 16 by nine which is this standard ratio, I guess. Um, it's gonna look like this, and the way that it's gonna look, it's gonna be, the Instagram is gonna compress it a little bit more. So it's gonna look really small. And what you want on Instagram is you wanna catch the attention of your viewer, right? So the more real state on the screen that you have, the better for you. So what you wanna do is in DaVinci here, you can do is you're gonna grab, right click here, and you're gonna create a new timeline. And then you're gonna press use custom settings, then format, and then here you're gonna have to go and press custom. And then for the story ones, you're gonna do a 1080 by 1920. So that's gonna change the ratio to basically to be nine by 16 instead of 16 by nine. So it's gonna sort of like flip it. So when we create this new timeline and it opens, and we can rename these Instagram story, then you pretty much have that set up. But then what is the problem? If we, for example, go and find that same um, timeline that we already had, let me see if I can find it where. So what you can do is you can just copy all the elements from the other timeline, or you can just drag this timeline and it will just drag it as sort of like as a compound clip. And then you can decompose this in place if you wanna adjust things individually. And then you have the same timeline that's open right here. The thing is that when you do these, it's gonna import it in the size of like the, in 1920 by 1080. So you will probably have to like zoom in or find a way to fit the whole thing on screen, right? So if we go back to when it was a compound clip, let's say, you can see that if we just zoom in here, you're gonna lose part of what whatever you were working on. So you need to decompose it. Then here we will have to make the adjustments to the individual clips that we have. This one it's fine. You can leave that as it is there. Probably we can maybe make it a little bit bigger if you want. Then we can find this first one, which is this um city thing so what we can do is we're gonna start it with it being really big already and then we see the size right here we don't want that so what we can do also is so instead of having it zoom out so we'll have to just adjust the size of the actual clip again so it stays a little bit big like that and then we're gonna sort of do the same process for everything that's that we have in our timeline so this is but you get the idea um so yeah you get the idea you will have to adapt all the elements to fit the actual screen here so that it works fine so yeah i'm gonna skip ahead with the part here of like adapting everything and then i'll show you the final export and then we're gonna do the same thing for and then for the normal post, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new timeline using the same method and it has to be a 1080. We're gonna change it to custom and it's gonna be 1080 by 13 by 50, 1350. And that will create the sort of like a square image that we see at the bigger posts. And since I already have that timeline here, we can just drag this timeline in here and see how it adapts onto the actual post like that and i'm not gonna make all the changes to this one too because otherwise it would just take way too long in the video but yeah so that is the basics once you have your timeline and do all the different adjustments and adapt all the different things what you want to do is you're gonna go to the ex delivery page here and in here um the format and the resolution is going to be automatically set up the same as your timeline so you don't have to worry about that 
and you can pretty much export it as a QuickTime or MP4, and that is pretty much what you want to do. Just make sure that all these things are like um, the way that you want it to be. You can leave these as they are, and then all you gotta do is put the name, and then you just add the add them to render queue, and then you start the render. And those, these are the two results that we got. So that is how you would go about exporting for Instagram if you have a 1920 by 1080 video. It's a little bit of a tedious process, but if you want to be able to sort of post the same thing to different social medias, you will have to do it that way. Unfortunately, there's not like a thing, like I think it's in Premiere where it automatically sort of like adapts and it finds the key point and auto focuses on it. Um, it was something like in the new update it came out, but unfortunately you would have to manually uh, like up adjust different points so that they fit correctly the way you want them on screen. So that is pretty much it for today's video. I hope that you have a great weekend and I hope to see you in the next video here in Swahili. Bye.